looking at how do we import GIFs into Scratch as a sprite. I'm going to create a new file and if I upload or choose a sprite and there is the earth I now have my sprite as the earth and I can code it to move so I can make it turn like that that will make it rotate I can even make it glide to different positions now when I press it it's moving the problem is it doesn't show us what the earth actually looks like when it rotates on its axis so one solution to this is to use GIFs so first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and search up earth now these are all images of the earth but they're not GIFs so one way to get a GIF is to go to tools and then type and then click on GIF now when you click on any of these GIFs you'll see that they are rotating on the earth's axis one other problem with these GIFs is that the back, they all have backgrounds and we want a GIF that is transparent so it works in our scratch file so if we go to color and then transparent this will give us a list, or a list of earths that are GIFs and spin but also have no background so if we have a look at the first one all right, and to double check that it's transparent if I click and drag the earth you'll see that when the image moves there's no background behind it when it floats so what I'm going to do is if I right click on this and copy image that will not work because it will only capture one image from the GIF and we want the whole GIF so what we need to do is we need to save image as I'm just going to save it to the desktop now I'm going to go back to my scratch file I'm going to remove my other earth sprite go to sprites and then upload I'm just going to go recent there's my GIF and press open so here is the GIF of the Earth at the moment. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. The problem is it's not moving. So I'm going to press on the green flag so the program starts. And you'll notice there's a problem. The GIF still isn't moving. So first thing we need to do is once we click on our GIF, if we press on the Costumes tab, you'll see that there are actually a number of images of the Earth. So this GIF actually has 44 images and this is great to show students how GIFs work which is that it's a series of images that are changing quickly that makes it look like a moving image and that's how it's different to something such as a video students can also compare this to something like a flip book where there's drawings and the, the different drawings are moving quickly to make it look like it's moving so now that we have all these costumes if we go back to code we need to make sure that we can see all the costumes so one way to do this is on events when the green flag is clicked the looks we want to switch to a costume now we don't want to if we pick this code here this is going to switch it to a specific costume there you can see all of them there the 44 pictures we don't want to switch it to a specific one we want to just switch to the next costume so now every time I press this green flag it's going to switch to the next picture of the earth so you can see the earth is starting to spin the problem with this is that we have to keep clicking manually every single time to get the earth to change so instead of that all we're going to do is go to control and then use the forever block so now when I press the green flag the earth should constantly spin and we should get our gif we can also change how fast or slow the gif changes so if we add uh, this code in here so after it switches the next costume we're going to make it wait for half a second so let's try this so it's way too slow so we can speed this up so try 0 0.1 and then we can see it's slower than what it was before now we can actually change our backgrounds get something space like drag out earth and now we can actually show the earth moving while rotating on its axis by having it spin so we're going to go back to events to create another when the green flag is clicked and then motion now when we select the glide to it will give a specific coordinate x and y if I drag the earth 
those coordinates will change. So I can keep using the glide button. And around. And then similar to before, we're going to do that forever. So we can see it continually going around in circles. So now we can see the GIF of the Earth actually rotating on its axis, plus also moving around the screen. Now you can use this with any GIFs, but to make sure that it's actually a GIF and it's worked correctly, you need to go to costumes and make sure that there are a number of images, otherwise it will not work.